It was the heart of winter, and the royal court convened in the open courtyard, basking in the gentle warmth of the sunshine. The priest, ministers, and members of the king's family gathered, their faces touched by the soft golden rays. In front of the king's grand throne stood an exquisite table-like object. As the court settled in, a man sought permission to enter. Your Majesty, may I enter the court? Having gained permission, the man approached the king, bowing respectfully. Sir, I possess two identical diamonds. One is real, and the other is a clever imitation. I've traveled far and wide, visiting numerous kingdoms, challenging them to distinguish the genuine from the counterfeit. But no one has succeeded until now. I stand victorious in my quest and have come to your esteemed kingdom. Can you or anyone in your court discern the real diamond from the fake? The king, intrigued by the challenge, accepted the man's proposal and the quest to identify the authentic diamond commenced. First, the king himself examined both diamonds, meticulously inspecting every facet, but to his dismay, they appeared identical in shape, size, color, and appearance. There was not even a hint of disparity between them. Bewildered, the king reclined on his throne, inviting his trusted ministers to scrutinize the diamonds. One by one, the ministers approached the table, inspecting the diamonds with great care, but none could distinguish the real from the fake. Desperation crept in, and the king, addressing the assembled crowd, implored, Is there anyone among you who possesses the wisdom to discern which diamond is real and which is counterfeit? But fear gripped the audience. They knew that only one attempt was allowed, and a wrong answer could bring severe consequences. Just when hope seemed to wane, an elderly blind man emerged, gripping a staff in one hand. He sought assistance to approach the king, his determination unwavering. Your Majesty, despite my lifelong blindness, I wish to try. Whether I succeed or fail, there is no harm in trying. The king, willing to grant a chance to the blind man, agreed, and the blind man carefully took both diamonds into his hands. After a thoughtful moment, the blind man raised one of the diamonds and confidently declared it to be the real one. The other, he claimed, was a counterfeit. Astonishingly, the challenger acknowledged the blind man's judgment as correct. True to his word, he pledged to deposit the real diamond into the king's treasury. The court and the king himself were left astounded by this unexpected turn of events. Eager to learn the secret behind the blind man's success, the king approached him. Sir, it's quite simple. We are all seated in the warm sunshine. I touched both diamonds, and the real one felt slightly cooler to the touch, while the counterfeit, made of glass, retained a faint warmth. That's how I discerned the genuine from the imitation. The king, deeply moved by the blind man's wisdom, honored him in his court showering him with rewards. In life, we often encounter challenges and uncertainties. The story of the blind man teaches us a valuable lesson. The one who remains composed in adversity, like the real diamond, shines brightly amidst challenges. In contrast, those who lose their cool over trivial matters, like a fragile piece of glass, are prone to breaking under pressure, often failing to achieve success. Therefore, let this tale remind us that, regardless of the difficulties we face, maintaining composure and working patiently can lead to success. The one who preserves their calm, even in the harshest of circumstances, is the true diamond in the rough.